Unit. <laughs> Let's go straight to the action guys right now. We're kind of chasing for attacks. The battle has started and let's go attack this Sierra Masha and that's a Barbara. I'm thinking we'll need to bring in Tessarion to oblivion these OP Beast Riders just so we don't have to kill both of them two times. At the same time, I'm thinking we'll need someone on immunity like a water tank so that whoever goes, you know, the Sierra is going to put a bomb, miss the bomb because we have immunity. And at the same time, we'll need additional defense break so that we can do damage to this Masha. I'm thinking we can bring in Vigor because Vigor has speed up, anti crit, heals, damage, I mean defense break. Yeah. Should be good. And he's on will. Let's go. Yeah, see, even if this Masha is able to put a defense break on our fire guys. Wow, yeah, Sierra's not gonna bomb the fire monsters technically. Now I'm thinking let's go kill this Masha first, right? Or, but then again, we don't have immunity and bombs from this Sierra is gonna be very dangerous. So let's go for the defense break on this Sierra because Perna is gonna go next. Nice defense break. And then, okay. Wow, that was. <laughs> oh. Hey. <laughs> Dead Sierra. Alright, uh, three versus two now. Come on, some oblivion, please. Uh, Alright, perfect. Yeah, you can kill this Perna. It's all good. We still do have our Vigor here to go crazy. And then automatically, it's a 3 versus 1. Oh man, yeah. That was a good call to, you know, kill the Sierra. Because if the Sierra survived, then it's going to be, you know, you're going to be facing bombs. And that's going to be very dangerous. Alright, well, that's a good attack in. Now, um, of course... Welcome to Gabino Games and we are in a Guardian 3 Siege Battle right now and we are battling these OP guilds from the Asia server. We got here BRK Gangsta, OP guild with a lot of light and dark monsters, Rex Lapis, and of course we're coming from the boss hotel. Alright, let's go wait for the next target. Attacking this Kumun, Ethna, and Chandra now. Bulwark, Emilia, and Skogol should be a good offense against this defense mainly because they don't have heals, right? Even though, you know, this Chandra is going to be start hugging, this Ethna is going to start doing Ethna things like strip stun or defense break but again they don't have heals now let's go for billion galder this kumun so that the shield goes to him at the same time we're going to wait for the atlas stone to fall all right man that's such a bad stun on that uh what do you call this on our ball work here Alright, but then here comes our Atlas Stone. And we do have our Forbidden Galder up. Ooh! Yeah, I mean, if that Kumun did more damage, that's going to be, you know, a dead Kumun. I mean, a dead Skogul! Alright. Okay, automatically it's a 3 versus 1 now. And it's pretty much a GG. How you guys doing? We hope you're doing good. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, we want to hear from you. We've come up with, you know, a new way of sharing our monsters and we want to hear from you. Please let me know if you like it, if you don't like it, or if you have suggestions on how to improve them. Now, we see a lot of these Irish Ritesh Kumun defenses. Here's A with a Jamire Emesity and that's a Bulldozer. Yeah, because... 
with the new buffs on those beast monks they got you know increases attack bars uh, provides a defense buff and of course their heals or even removes like on kumar removes the what do you call this um debuffs on your teammates right all right well we are attacking this kumun together with an ethna and an iris well we're gonna bring in our jamair together with our emesity and then our very own bulldozer yeah the first one to kill here would of course be the iris right see um this is the lag that i've been saying um it's not really coming from my connection i think it's on the server of come to us right um we have been hearing a lot of lags right after that update um i think mainly because uh i don't know <laughs> i mean was it because um a lot of people started playing again because of those wonderful seventh anniversary giveaways that come to us has been generously you know giving us players well i don't know All right now, Emesity. Oh, yep, not so fast, Emesity, but that was dangerous. Um, but it's fine, it's fine. Let's go kill the Iris here. Full power punch, so that you know she doesn't remove any buffs or debuffs. All right, let's go reset. Illusion of time. But looking at the attack bars, I think yeah, she's gonna cut in. Ooh. Oh man, that's a very dangerous comp against this defense because if that Ethna was able to put, you know, a defense break on our bulldozer, then he wouldn't be doing more damage or as much damage as, well as we want. At the same time, yeah, uh, that Kumun may have attacked onto our bulldozer, but good thing we didn't get it. <laughs> Yeah, RNG, RNG everywhere anyway. But, oh, he's doing a lot. Yeah, the thing here is, you know, it's good when you're bringing a bulldozer against a Komun, mainly because, you know, you do have the same element. And it's not like you bring in a copper who's going to do, you know, glancing hits or miss on his ignore damage, etc. Now we're just gonna wait for the cooldown to come off while our Jamair is able to tank this OP Kumun and then once our full power punch is up that's going to be a GG all right Gucci OP defense from Hatsunika all right next up we're gonna attack this Ophelia Gianna and Skogul we're gonna bring in our OP Galleon <laughs> that misses all those freaking debuffs Diana and Zyros. I've really been trying to level up this Galleon just to have him max skilled. I don't know, maybe that affects his accuracy because he does have 100% accuracy, right? And he sh we haven't been facing resistance leads from the different defenses that we've been attacking. Finally! <laughs> All right, all the defense broken. Time to Zyros and reset. Oh, so good. All right, now that's what I'm talking about, Galliot. Oh man, because you look so good with that transmog, and it's you know worthy. Prove that you're worthy of the transmog, man. All right. Okay, see what I'm saying? That's just such a bad lag. There's nobody in front of us anymore one eternity later G -g 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 unit nice so thank you baby g give me five op all right next target is a tower of these kubun orion and savannah defenses this is a really rng defense because that orion's going to be on violent where right, right. You know what? They're all on violent, okay? But yeah, we're gonna be facing dangers coming from that harmless prank. That's gonna, I don't know, it does so many things. Let's see if we can beat that RNG.
we will most probably get the first turn. Look at that, Ryan. <laughs> it's such a. It's. I don't know if that Orion's missing a rune, or I don't, <laughs> is that Orion purposely that slow? I don't know. But you know, at the end of the day, that's going to be a very dangerous, harmless prank, Orion. Most probably with 100% accuracy. I don't know what kind of trap build this is, but. Oh man, three turns coming from this savanna. Okay. Oh man. Alright, savanna. Oi! No! The violent proc from the common killed the. Oh man. <laughs> Uh, uh, we can still come back from this, right? But again, that Kumun did a lot of damage. That's a scary Kumun. Mm -hmm. The harmless prank. Yeah, I'm thinking we need to kill this Orion. But then... Yeah, because if we kill the Orion, then we still have our Kumun and Busa here. Oh, so much damage from that Kumun, though. Hmm. Alright, so far, so good. Alright, let's go heal up. Oh. Oh, man. A unable to break through the shields of the Kumun, though. I don't know, what am I thinking? The harmless prank. Oi! <laughs> and, uh, oh man. That's very dangerous. Yep, defense broken. Mm hmm. Yeah, we'll have to put Rush of Immortality for immunity and shields. Oh, wow. Violent proc again, and that's pretty much a GG. I don't think we can come back from this, can we? Two versus one. Yeah, technically, if you're you know faced with this, with this kind of problem, you'll have to say kill the commune first, right? I mean, I have a Wusa, but oh man. <laughs> Orion. That Orion was so soft. But <laughs> this is kind of... That's what I was saying about the harmless prank anyway. Um, honestly, I don't think our Wusa can beat this Kumun because that shield is too thick. And at the same time, we aren't able to break it or anything. Oh man. Maybe I think we should have went for that Orion. I don't know. <laughs> Damn. Alright. Let's go for this Ciara, Lauren, and Daphnis. We're bringing in our Ciara, our second Ciara. Again, with a full fight set. And then we're bringing in the slow Lucian. So the plan is we're going to outspeed that Lauren. And then snipe them all with our Lucian. Technically, this should work. Um, I'm, I've still been, you know, working and testing this combo because, you know, again, the second Sierra is not max killed or anything like that. So, yeah, let's see if it works. Man, this lag, I'm telling you. And here we go. Rabbit's agility to our Lucian. 89% crit rate. We should be able to kill that Sierra and that Lauren, right? We're gonna slow this down a bit. Oh, come on. We still missed. We still... Uh-huh. I don't know. Um, 
Not enough damage. Oh man. <laughs> Three, two versus one now. Glancing. I mean, this was Raccoonie though, right? Um. Oh yeah, glancing hit, and then again the. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we just yeah that Daphnis man uh, really nice Daphnis from VRK Gangsters oh man yeah if we killed that Lauren we could have easily bombed that Daphnis and all alright ND4 towers now we got here Steve bringing in a Zenobia Shaina together with a Clara all right, next up we got Granzi with a Thalia, Sabrina, and Harmonia. Now, you've been asking about this Carcano defense, right? Or this Carcano with the buff that provides 24% speed lead and guild content. Well, you know, a lot of our guildies have been attacking this defense and it seems like a trap one. Why is it a trap? Well, we'll find out. Let's bring in our Water Twins together with our very own Harmonia. Okay now, let's see, oi, yeah he goes for the defense broken, um, what shall I call it, water twin, but let's go kill this Carcano, mainly because he's fire and at the same time he puts that defense break on everyone every time, okay. Wow, look at the damage coming from that Triana, though. Oh, wow. I mean... Uh, did I see that right? Yeah, I think... How much damage... Oh. 10,000 plus per hit coming from that Triana. It looks like that's a crit damage Triana, right? So, that only means that if you're on speed crit damage attack Triana, you know, he, she should be soft. Yeah, you still have immunity. Okay. Nice, Sue. Oh! <laughs> Oh, come on, lagging. All right. There you go. Yeah, I mean... That's an OP Triana. Because, again, I, I see I see the trap. I see the trap. Mainly because you wouldn't expect that Triana to do a lot of damage. But at the same time, Harp Magician's first skill increases damage based on their attack speed. And then you got that bigger providing that attack buff, I mean, speed buff, right? And then that speed lead from the Carcano. Oh man, that's such an OP defense and OP lag. <laughs> okay, we're attacking this Kali and Clara and Niho. We're gonna bring in our water bombers, but this time, how about a Triana? Just to make sure, you know, we don't die or this Miho doesn't snipe. I mean, it's still risky. Everything's RNG anyway. You know, like those stuns. Oh no. Oh man. <laughs> there you go. Uh huh. We still have heals. So, is that a dead Miho? Yep. Okay. Oh, that was scary though. That was very scary. Um. Yeah. It was able to snipe our Malaka because of the double hits, but it was kind of soft. I think that was a very high attack build on that, uh, whatchamacallit, on that Miho there. Alright, that was close though. Close call, but that's why we have a Triana providing that support and the heals and the sleep. Although my Triana is not on a crit damage build, right? Now, nonetheless, pretty good. 
That's very interesting though. I wanna try that. Um a speed crit damage attack Triana. With a speed up and then defense break coming from that Carcano. Man, that's so good. Right, onwards to the next target. We got here an Odin Tower, but it's a mix of Komun, Odin, and Bastet. We still have our Luis here. Let's go bring in that Luis, Rocky, and Camilla combo. Should be good. We are gonna give them the first turn. And of course, because of that Komun with that shield, that's 5 knowledge for Odin. Odin ignores defense, but Camilla's first aid passive saves her. Plus, of course, the HP lead from our Luis. Now, alright, let's go for the defense break. Ah! Hmm. Is that a high resistance on that Odin, or we just missed? Two out of three. Well, we, uh, understandable on the Rocky because you know she doesn't have 100% resistance. But it's just that that Galleon finally redeemed himself after how many battles? And uh, we have been showing you. Yeah, let's go kill the Kumun, right? Because then, yeah, we have Camilla tanking, but with that attack power buff, we should cleanse. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, could have been very dangerous because, you know, defense broken Camilla, attack buffed Odin can be very dangerous. Okay, now we work on uh, breaking the shields on this um, Odin. And then it's pretty much a GG. Alright. I mean, I know... Uh, Comtoas is working on this lag issue, but it just so happens that I guess you know they did do a lot of updates, especially with the current um, game for mall issues. Was it? Yeah, they're trying to fix the security, which is good. I mean, it's really good that Comtoas is able to act on it. Um, it's just that I guess you know eventually you will you know it's only natural to encounter such challenges when you have a really nice game and platform but you know you're consistently partnering with you know other brands and all all right well now we got here brito with a fang yen tyrannis and his very own rocky okay well unfortunately we weren't able to finish all our attacks but yeah the lag is just really bad and that's a gg well played to you know brk gangster and Rex Lapis. You see, I mean, until now, it's the, the you know the page still isn't lagging. Yep, there you go. Network connection delayed. Anyway, yep, there you have it. GG, well played again to PRK Gangster and Rex Lapis. Now time for our SSS trophy box. And because we were not able to watch him call it, finish all our monster attacks. Well, we'll give you a special treat today. We're going to do some summons. Not yet the Transcendent Scroll, but we haven't even gotten that. We haven't pulled it up. We're just saving it for later. But let's go finish some of the scrolls that we have. To start our summon, let's go evolve our 6-star. Yep, again, we are building your farm teams you know stand by for that it's coming um meta farm teams for you all right let's go straight to the summons we got 60 scrolls let's see what we can get Wait. Whoa. What? <laughs> On the second scroll? Wow, wow, we That's very good. I don't know. Well, 
it's a dupe um but yeah beautiful camilla i think i'm gonna keep her yeah because she's really good against odin towers and yeah honestly it's just yeah a good to save i think especially now you know we've been battling a lot of um siege battles but yep that's a camilla and we only summoned two scrolls so we're still going to finish the rest of the scrolls let's see if you know you our audience you said like every scroll is different right but honestly i think there's some kind of pity you know like when you play gacha games other gacha games there's a form of pity where after an x number of summons you will get something or whatever but yeah come to us doesn't have that unfortunately uh nonetheless yeah let's go finish the rest of our scrolls okay and after all we have been um you know we do need to evolve some of these monsters so that we can complete our um what shall i call it farm teams our updated farm teams yeah melia is definitely very good i'll be showing that to you why she is although i probably think you already know let's go continue summoning but first let's change this to the seventh year summon hinge bring us luck seventh anniversary okay let's continue finishing our scrolls and see what we get technically i don't know maybe because you know that's why come to us gave like a hundred scrolls giveaway just to make sure that you are able to pull an nb5 at some point right because technically a hundred percent you will get one percent chance of actually getting a new nb5 although of course that's still not a hundred percent right now we started off with 58 let's see how many summons it will take to get another nb5 although that camilla was a really good pull on the second scroll right nonetheless let's see if that probability is true although i understand it's totally debatable right but nonetheless let's go and hope for a new nb5 we started off okay here we go seventh year anniversary summoning hinge will it bring us luck well yeah we're gonna be getting a lot more scrolls so we have to finish these scrolls death knight all good yeah i don't want to do like 200 scrolls in one summon i mean i think we'll have to finish lightning is good though yeah we'll need to finish these scrolls so that on the next summon session um yeah we can utilize the other scrolls nonetheless let's see anyway how are you guys doing we hope you're doing good we hope you had a really good weekend and at the same time yep good luck on the coming week now no more lightning still quite some scrolls to go i don't know what are you thinking i'm thinking i want masha barbara chongpong um although the jogun jogun has been buffed and he's good especially that scroll and you know strips and provides attack power buff that's a good combo of course any of the olmi yugis especially the water one um uh, of course annabelle we're still looking for an annabelle and of course arika and then we're still saving for that L and D summons. Uh, we already got two more from um, the Toa. We're still finishing that one also. Yeah, Toa Hill. We will be starting it. Um, it's just that it just takes so much time. Honestly, even just 
20 star it maybe but yeah the 30 star yeah that's really that's just crazy OP people do that well you can should we try it I it's just so much and it's not like as if there's a transcendent scroll at the end of that Toa hell it doesn't you know even if say you do a 30 star if there was a transcendent scroll then maybe more people would actually do it it's just so hard right now I'm not sure if it's going to be um, what I'm gonna call it updated or if it's going to be nerfed or whatever just to make you know allow more people to play it but at the end of the day there are a lot of end game players who are able to finish it already and yeah if you want to find out more about those teams you have of course ys remember ys he's been doing it and he's really good in doing it i've seen uh, sean b doing the same videos um yeah sean b is also good for sure okay now let's just go clean up our monster box here okay back to our summon no more mystical scrolls but we still have our water scrolls and a wind scroll that has no lightning oh hey 48 water scrolls so all in all we started with 58 so that's 59 plus these water scrolls yeah Tricaru, very good for sure we are using Tricarus. I mean, yeah, three Icarus. So plus 48. That's going to be 98. Uh, 90. 107. 100 plus scrolls. We should be getting a new NB5. Or an NB5 for that matter. Technically speaking. Oh man, so much. Come on. Annabelle, Barbara, or the water Omiyugi. Come on now. Did Camilla eat up all our luck? <laughs> I think she did. I don't know. Oh! Ah! Julie, definitely good. You should build her if you don't have it or if you haven't. Come on. 30 more water scrolls. Should be Gucci. Oh man. More food for our Tricaro bird. Man, is this seventh year anniversary summon hench? really that lucky i hope so <laughs> that so far not so lucky or uh, or we should be optimistic right yeah it's going to be very lucky it's gonna bring us our most wanted nb5 unit mm. oh man 20 scrolls to go. Yeah, I still have uh, the seventh year anniversary scrolls from the event. We're gonna be saving that. We're gonna be summoning that. I'm so excited. Uh, yeah, because it's gonna give you, it's make, allowing us to choose, right? Choose which monsters you'll be, uh, or you'll be able to pull with that scroll but yeah we're gonna get a new one for sure hopefully ah I thought it was a Omiyugi it's a dryad lightning rates not so bad it's just that no pulls so far oh and by now we already hit around what 80 scrolls
eight more water scrolls. Man. Okay. Bulwark. Oh no, that's not Bulwark. Sorry, a Covenant. Wow. Yeah, it's just very rare, I guess, to really pull NB5s and then back to back NB5s. It's so kinda. Man, that's bad. Yeah. I think we should clean up our uh, summoning here. But this is what I put. Yeah, I, th I thought we could summon with only like... <laughs> That was a bit tricky, wasn't it? Okay, anyway, legendary summons. No? Oh, come on. Legendary scrolls already. Oi! Akila. It's two legendary summons. Three legendary summons. Come on, man. Four legendary summons. Oi. Man, it's I think it's a dud. Isn't it a dud? Five nope. Legendary water scroll. Annabelle. Oi, Galleon. More food for our derp Galleon. Water Heart Magician. Man, we finished all that already. No, we're not gonna go for the exclusive summonings. More water twins? Oh man, really? So much pain though. Hi, anyway. Um, yeah, definitely Chung Pong for now. Striker. The Wind Striker is very good. I uh, definitely useful. We use him in our alternate account, right? And then I'm getting more for food to our what shall I call it? Our Kumun, right? And then maybe some food for Kaki. And again, our Galleon. Do we need food for Fedora? No, I think we already maxed out Fedora anyway. And then for the three stars, yeah, let's bring some food for, say, our second bulldozer. And then maybe if we need to build another bigger. Mm. Yep, let's get the werewolves. Of course, bulldozer. And then someone else. I don't know. Randomly anything, I guess. Okay. Should be Gucci. Let's go. Seventh year special scrolls. Let's clear up our monster box so we continuously go for the summon there. All right. 14 seven year special scrolls not yet from the event i mean not from the seventh year event page but definitely from the event right not coming from the packs come on man rika oi food for kumun Mm. The silence of the lambs.
Oh, come on. Last five. Three to go. Ah, nothing. And that's it for today. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content. Thank you for watching and may the force be with you. Have a great week ahead. We'll see you on the next one.